the authors of this video have no financial interest. Corneal collagen cross-linking has been proven to cause stabilization of keratoconus and has got FDA approval in April 2016. But the big question which haunts all of us is, what about the quality of vision and life? If we do a textbook survey of the treatment options, it provides us a variety of options which will help in stabilizing the progression of keratoconus. But the question is, is there nothing we can do about the visual quality? Topo-guided photorefractive keratectomy requires a minimal corneal thickness of 450 microns. The procedure had good visual outcomes. However, its limiting factor was the thinnest pachymetry. The Cretan protocol ablated 50 microns of the central cornea and hence works better for central cones. When people in different geographical areas have customized their lifestyle based on topography, why should we treat all keratoconus the same? Isn't it time to apply our clinical skills for customization of treatment? We know the cones have different sizes and shapes. So, our research question was, is there any way we can achieve visual outcomes comparable to topo-guided PRK? Is there any way to localize and decenter the zone of ablation? Well, now there is. Introducing TREK. TREK stands for Topography Guided Removal of Epithelium in Keratoconus followed by Collagen Cross-Linking. Planning a topo-guided treatment in the Schwind Amaris platform. The offset of the cone is measured from the pupillary center from the anterior tangential curvature map, followed by measuring the long and short axis of the cone. The ablation depth is set at a maximum of 20 microns, more than the thinnest corneal epithelium thickness, measured by an anterior segment OCT. All this is done on the PTK custom ablation module. Intraoperatively, after identification of the cone, a topo-guided PTK is done over the thinnest pachymetry along with a 20 microns of stromal ablation. Next, the epithelium over the rest of the cornea, up to 8 mm in diameter, is manually scraped followed by accelerated cross-linking. There was a significant improvement in post-operative, uncorrected as well as corrected visual acuity. And the procedure had a good safety profile with reliable results time after time. Other applications are in tax, followed by topo-guided removal of epithelium in keratoconus. We can use it to regularize the cornea post intax keeping in mind the ablation zone does not overlap the epithelium over the ring. This gives the patients much better visual outcomes than the intax alone. Trek, therefore, we have better epithelial regularization with additional advantage of minimizing the stromal ablation. The pinnacle of the climb to true patient customization is finally here.